Peter. Well, we've just held a very useful, and I might say brief, but also I will add a very moving discussion with Chairman Yunus Khalis of the Islamic Union of Mujahideen of Afghanistan and other members of his distinguished delegation. I expressed our nation's continued strong support for the resistance and our satisfaction with the large step the Afghan resistance took toward unity in choosing a chairman for the first time. This new political milestone demonstrates that the people of Afghanistan speak with one voice in their opposition to the Soviet invasion and occupation of their homeland. This increasing unity has already made itself felt on the battlefield. During the past 18 months, the Mujahideen fighting inside the country have improved their weapons, tactics, and coordination. The result has been a, a string of serious defeats for the Soviet elite units, as well as many divisions from the Kabul army. Chairman Khalis and his delegation are visiting Washington following the November 10th UN General Assembly vote, which, with a record vote once again, called overwhelmingly for the withdrawal of all foreign troops from Afghanistan. This is the eighth time since the December 1979 invasion that the General Assembly has decisively called upon the Soviet Union to pull its forces out of Afghanistan. And let there be no mistake about it. The withdrawal of Soviet forces is the key to resolving the Afghan crisis. Our other issues that have been raised to divert attention from this fact only extend the combat and prolong the suffering of the Afghan people. General Secretary Gorbachev has publicly stated a Soviet readiness to withdraw. Both in April and September of 1987, I asked the Soviet Union to set a date this year when that withdrawal would begin. I also stated that when the Soviet Union showed convincingly that it was ready for a genuine political settlement, the United States would be helpful. After all, the Soviet presence in Afghanistan is a major impediment to improved U.S.-Soviet relations, and we would like to remove it. The Soviets should want to do so as well. Unfortunately, the Soviet answer on a date for rapid withdrawal has been silence. Instead, we've seen the Kabul regime announce a phantom ceasefire and propose a transitional government, one that would leave this discredited and doomed group in control. These gambits have been rejected by the only voice that really counts, that of the Afghan people, speaking through their resistance representatives. Any proposal unacceptable to the resistance is destined to fail. And as the resistance continues the fight, we and other responsible governments will stand by it. The support that the United States has been providing the resistance will be strengthened rather than diminished so that it can continue to fight effectively for freedom. A just struggle against foreign tyranny can count upon worldwide support, both political and material. The goal of the United States remains a genuinely independent Afghanistan, free from external interference, an Afghanistan whose people choose the type of government they wish, an Afghanistan to which the four million refugees from Soviet aggression may return in safety and, yes, in honor. On behalf of the American people, I salute Chairman Khalis, his delegation, and the people of Afghanistan themselves. You are a nation of heroes. God bless you.
Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Ahmaduhu ve nusalli ala Resulü'l Kerim ve ba'd. Yakınlarım şu Afganistan kum müşkil ve kum mesail ve ağır bende sadar seyip yoksa mucmal rana vaç ola. In the name of God, the merciful and the compassionate. As far as the Afghan problem is concerned, uh, the president has shed light on some important uh, points. Uh, I have no doubt that uh, the U.S. promises of support and uh, commitment to the Afghan cause will be honored in the future as it has been in the past. I'm grateful for the opportunity to express uh, uh, the voice of the Afghan people to the world. This is an important opportunity for us. Afghanistan ki nun saba yu milyon ezat shaydan shividi kili aw koruna bazaruna tur rang shividi zangali shividi wal atfal pa bamun bande alwuti di di khawr land shividi tangun pa tir shividi aw zwandi pa wor sozidili di in afghanistan we have uh, uh, have more than 1 million martyrs and uh, many children uh, have been killed, villages have been destroyed, uh, and the war continues and intensifies. In the face of uh, these sacrifices or these costs, uh, we have continued our resistance uh, and we shall continue to do so. Uh, we, uh, the morale of the, our resistance is very high and we shall continue with our struggle. <laughs> Although the United Nations overwhelmingly has called for the withdrawal of the Soviet troops, unconditional withdrawal of Soviet troops, but the Soviets have continued the war, and this war, in our view, is likely to continue. The Rusano Fishar of Kuwait, Afghanistan, ta yawaz Afghanistan de para mutawajee nade, balki du gwali pa Afghanistan ke khpal salah aw askar training ki. Um, uh, in our view, uh, the struggle uh, in Afghanistan is not only for Afghanistan. The Soviets are using Afghanistan as a base for uh, training their forces and using their weapons, but uh, they also uh, would like to use Afghanistan, should they be victorious, as a base from which uh, they uh, will threaten the Persian Gulf, the Middle East, and uh, Western interests in general. Uh, this is therefore an issue that uh, involves not only the Afghans, but the rest of the world, especially those who are uh, seeking peace. Afghanistan 
او هم نظامی کمکونه او هم سیاسی کمکونه جاری و ساتی او پاروی که زیاد پاله را ولی از ریزالت it's important that uh, in these countries uh, uh, should continue their humanitarian and other support uh, for the Afghan resistance and in fact should increase it. Afghanistan ki munga de Afghanistan de tabao de Afghanistan de khalqo pokha hukumat gwaru aw munga da padi ki balcha ta mudakhara juram aw de qanun khilaf karwai bolu. In Afghanistan, it's only the Afghan people that should determine uh, the, uh, the future government. We do not accept any right uh, on this issue and do not accept interference by anyone as far as this issue is concerned. Afghanistan <laughs> شپدی که کم رژیم مگه قائم کو، هاگا با د بشریت خیر خوابی و هاگا با د همیشه د پارا د مظلومانو پخای که ولاریو. The world should rest assured that no matter what kind of regime the Afghans establish out of their own free will, that regime will not threaten anyone's interest and shall observe all international laws and live in peace with all its neighbors. خلاصه خبر داده چه افغانستان تحریک با د افغانستان تر از دو پر روان وی او په افغانستان په سلوش باندې بل چا ته موږ حق نشو ورکولی افغانستان خلک نن سوا د ټولو دولتونو نه د کومک غوښتون کې دي او افغانستان باید په رسمیت باندې مجاهدین وپیژندلی شي uh, accept comes to power. We do not accept uh, uh, the preferences of others as far as our government is concerned. Uh, but uh, we also would like to point out that we would like increased political support and recognition for our movement uh, consistent with increased uh, military uh, achievement that we have on the battlefield. <laughs> ده چهار رسم بعد او خیلی کلیشی هم دارن که یه و ثقافی او دا کم خلق چی او اخبار چلی او کوالشی چی او موضوع سعی تحلیل کی او یه غلط تحلیل کی خو غلط تحلیل کون که کسی هم چهار تزرار ور سعی ایده شخصیت هم پس مگه ور سعی. And then I would like to call on the on the press to give adequate and 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 correct. Information and analysis of what goes on in Afghanistan. That was uh, the last point that uh, the chairman wants. <laughs> <laughs>